Listen, if you can't keep secret, I am telling you, you can't be rich. Why? How does the secrecy relate to you being wealthy and being rich? By the way, let's say take a very simple scenario. You are out there, you are a business person. And again, this business that you are in involves you secrecy. For example, where you usually get your things. If you are to tell everybody who is your competitor, where you usually get things in a good price, then what does it mean? That it means everyone who is out there, who is your competitor, going to get the same thing. Then you get yourself or dislodge yourself from the competitive edge. So what does it mean? Let's go back, retrace back from you being a business person to you being an individual. Then this is you here. And I want you to tell me, an individual whom you know out there, they have this thing... They have a lot of yap yap. They talk a lot. You can't even tell them and keep a secret. They hardly retain anything. You see, the incapability of you retaining a secret, that thing shared with you, it's actually a reflection of your ability to retain even money. It's true. By the way, you'll be shocked if I tell you those guys who do not even have the discipline of keeping a secret, they cannot be disciplined in anything that they're trying to develop. That's a reality. The discipline that you possess, you ought, you have. For example, if you tell somebody, hey, I'm going to be there at 8 a.m., you show up at 10 and behave like, oh, I'm so sorry. By the way, I just got late. Oh, God damn. You're late by two hours and you act as if there's nothing. For example, let's say you're about to start a new year. You say, hey, I'm going to focus on losing weight. You do some dumbbells like two weeks. Yeah, yeah. And then after that, you're done. You're like, I ain't going to do those things. So you're an inconsistency. So if you have the capability to return a secret, let's say I approach you and tell you, hey, guess what? Um, I'm facing this one or two on my family and doing this, the other. And I would like you to help me and tell me exactly what do you think I can do? Oh, and by the way, and by the way, I would like you to return this information between me and you. And then after shared, you are nodding your head, you are nodding your head, you're like, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. And then after that, you're like, hey, why? Let me tell you, I thought I had a problem. Hey, some people have problems, yeah. Because this person is doing this and that, and then you're like, oh my goodness, you ought to keep that thing secret. For example, I do have the services where I offer about couples, for example, things to do with finance. You know, sometimes I usually receive calls from people who are telling me, hey, please, Joseph, I know you, you, you don't talk about this, but I would like you to help me because I'm on this situation, I'm on that. But I just retain that information with me, you know, because you, you ought to retain them. You see, you cannot come here and parade everything. Sometimes I get even called by big people, celebrities whom you guys you do not know. They call me. That's, that's a reality. I can't share their names. And they tell me the, some of the things that they are facing. So the reality is, if someone cannot entrust you with a secret, I am telling you they cannot even entrust you with a deal. That's a reality. You see, when I say, and by the way, let me ask a very simple question. Because we usually have what we call, uh, this is a secret, and it's directly proportional. This is what we used to write there, directly proportional. It's directly proportional to riches. This is how. Have you ever asked yourself, most of these wealthy people tend to retain a certain sort of a reserved kind of a personality. They don't even share nothing about their lives. They are just there, you know. You, and you realize the kind of thing that, because let me tell you one secret. Whenever it comes to entrepreneurial skills, whenever it comes to businesses, investments, it's actually wholly secret. There's some of the information you ought to retain them as confidential. All right. If you realize one thing, maybe let's say, for example, say you want to write a book, right? And then you are out there, you're telling people before you even write the book, hey, you can do this. I think you people should be writing a book about this. And, and there's some smart people who will grab those information. And by the time you sit down, produce your book, they have already produced theirs. By the way, have you ever tried to share a business idea to an individual? You thought that you're gathering some information to them or from them. And then the next minute you realize them starting that business. Yeah. I've ever seen that. You see, you are out there, you're trying to gather some information, and then you do not have the discipline of actually knowing the boundaries or what you're not supposed to share. And then you're out there, you meet everything, and then the next minute they, exp they, they, they have already done that. You never know who is listening. It is good to make sure that you keep secret. For example, let's go back now to the example that I was giving you. I was explaining to you, you are out there, you are a business individual, you are a business person, and you're selling, let's say you're selling sneakers or Crocs or what have you. And let's take a case scenario of that given country that you are. For, for my case, let me just use Kenya. And then you're selling your sneakers and scenario. And there is that plug 
that you know you can go aka industrial area kenyans can relate to that there are some secret go downs that are out there secret go downs that are selling not that they're doing legal things no but these places are known by selective individuals there are some people who are selling as uh, go downs that are actually selling these uh, maybe let's say sneakers you know they're selling these uh, you know plastic things or they're selling whatever the things that is out there or that can be sold okay provided it's legal and then you find that selected few are only one that knows that specific place Therefore, these are the guys who take advantage of that. They go buy those things and then they present none to them. And all the time you're like, why does this guy actually offer what you call a competitive price? How or where does he get all these kind of things? So you ask yourself, if I was to know the plug where this guy gets all these commodities, then I'll have what you call the competitive edge. So the rich people or those people who actually make more money, they actually retain that competitive edge between you and average individual just because they have already known this is what you are good at and this is what your weakness is and this is what I can leverage on and this is where I can make money from. And by the way, these are captured in actually in one of the book called the you know, for teach laws of power. So whenever you realize there is something in your society that you actually they are the one who has opened your eyes, you'll be able to, I don't want to use the term take advantage, but sort of a thing, so that at least you can have the competitive edge and be able to make much out of it. For example, there is a saying that goes like this. In our country, you know, where everyone is blind, the isle will always be the king. In a country where everyone is blind, the eyed will always be the king. There's a reality and there's a fact. So the moment you realize, for example, you may go to some countries, especially, I don't want to, am I tempted to use Africa as an example. They realize if they can be able to sell hope to the less fortunate people in our society. Because, you know what we say? The poor people are being sold or you sell hope to the poor people. And for the rich, you sell deals. That's for sure. Hey, support me, I become the president, you ain't gonna pay tax. For the poor people, guess what? You sell them hope. So if you manipulate them, that's what they do. But now that is using the understanding, the competitive edge on a wrong perspective. And you can incorporate these ideas. You can incorporate this wisdom and incorporate them in your, in your businesses, your enterprises, and you can be able to transform your life. So this is what I want you to do. Anytime and every time someone approaches you with something that they want to share with you and they tell you, please keep this by yourself. You never know. Keep it by yourself. Don't share it out. You know what's a secret in most times? You realize that a, a secret is that what is shared with you is shared to somebody. It's shared to you. You're told not to share. And you share it and tell there's some person not to share as well. So you find like everybody knows the secret. But everybody don't think that everybody knows. But that's a secret. That's not the way you're supposed to go. You're supposed to keep it by yourself until the end. Until maybe you're given the authority to share the thing. For example, let's take an example of Hollywood. They're producing movies. And if you guys, you can read some news back then. There was a time they were doing the GOT, a Game of Thrones. And there was a leakage of a certain episode. I don't know if it was an expert or it was a bite or whatever it was. You guys, you can go read the news. And it was leaked way before the production. So then what does it mean? It has spoiled everything. Some information ought to be kept a secret. Why? Because if you keep it, a, for the sake of the GOT, if you keep that information a secret, then it creates that suspension. People would like to love it or know exactly what transpired. It's like you watching a series one episode down. You would like to know what happened. So, and then can you imagine somebody just, or, or can you imagine this? Before I even go to the complications of that. Can you imagine this? You're watching a series and you're watching with somebody who has already watched it. And then, before you even know what happened, then the guy is just like narrating to you, ah, this guy would die, ah, this is what will happen. This, you actually lose the taste of that specific thing. You'd rather work with somebody who shuts up, find it by your own, because that's the whole entertainment. So what does it pay? You, the, the, the businesses, the corporate, the industries, the companies ought to have a secret. Any company that is out there, for example, if you come from Kenya, there is a secret about Safaricom. If you go to Tanzania, there is a secret about Vodafone. If you go to Uganda, MTN. If you go to, uh, maybe let's say Nigeria, secret about uh, uh, Glow. Is it called Glow or something? You see, I'm just giving examples of those companies that are here in Africa. So there is a secret running that specific corporate industry, a company, an institution, they ought to have them. Because if they were to talk a lot, then it means they lose the competitive edge. It's the same case applies to our country. We as Kenyans, we cannot, or we as Kenyans in, in terms of their leadership, they cannot reveal like they were our power capability, like this is what we own in terms of, because that one can be used against us. That's a reality. So you ought to keep a secret. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So the point is this in life. If you can be able to borrow that, incorporate it in your life and be able to be using it each and every time, you can be able to be wealthy. Because 
Remember this and never forget it. If you cannot be able to keep a secret, hardly, hardly can you be able to keep your wealth. It is always good to make sure that have some secrets with you, retain it by yourself, at all the time incorporate them so that at least can help you to have that thing that is called winning mentality. And again, next time, don't even encircle yourself with people who cannot be able to keep a secret. And that's why you find those guys who are bigger winners in this society. They usually encircle themselves with people who, you know, they have that, uh, you know, uh, how, how, how can I frame it? They usually encircle themselves with people who have the secrets, people who have the capability, because you guys, you are the same mission. But if you encircle yourself with people who are weak, you know, if you threaten them a little bit. By the way, if, if you can just dissect a little bit information about the military, it's all about secrecy. It is true. As much as there is a, a large percentage of discipline, the secrecy plays a very vital role. So it's always and all the time make sure that you have ability to retain a secret. So by the way, let me just part ways with this point. At all the occasion, wealth is always the ability of you absorbing and retaining. Never brag to people that you're making way a lot of money. And I gave an example. You may have somebody who is making like 300,000 a month, 300,000 a month, and that guy is saving like 80K. A month that's our savings and you may have somebody who is earning 70,000 a month and that guy is actually saving 40k a month so tell me between the two who has the capability of the absorption who has the highest absorption rate definitely is this individual so it means that if you were to subject this individual to this amount of money these guys will be saved because this amount of money that you are saving is way above even 50% so the 50% of the above, we are talking about of 160,000 per month here. So if you were to subject this kind of an individual to this amount of money, you'll be retaining a lot of money. And never forget one thing, the success of a man is not measured by how high he clumps, but how high he bounces when he hit the bottom. All credit goes to the owner of that quote. So the point is this, at all the point, it's good to understand, it's always not the much you make, but the much you retain and the ability to multiply that specific, that what you retain, so that at least you can grow yourself to the next level. So what did we learn today? We said, at all the time, learn to keep a secret and be a somebody whom you can be trusted with a secret. That's it. It's a very simple start. By the way, if you manage to watch this video up to this particular end, don't forget this. I do post a video each and every time. So if you do want to miss any of my good videos in the future, this is what you do. Down below there, on your right, there is like a small button, a very small button written subscribe. It is in black. Hit that magical button, like this video. How would you do so? You like this? Sort of a, an icon looks like this. Hit that like button and comment down below there. Tell me what you think because I'm a believer. Just like an iron sharpens another iron, so do we learn from each other. There is something that I can share or rather you can, you know, I can learn from you as well. All right. And again, tell me, how true is my information? And by the way, have you encountered any situation whereby... You found somebody whom you shared an information about a secret of yourself and then they shared. And how did you feel? And by the way, that was just a simple secret about social life. Would you do so as far as the finance is concerned? Would you share that information again with an individual who cannot be able to keep even a social secret? Would you share with them things to do with finance? If you cannot be able to do so, probably that's what you're going to tell me. But anyway, I'm not trying to preempt anything. Tell me what you think on the comment section. And again, my number is always on the description. Because I have some people who are telling me, hey, just how can I reach you? You can. And how do you do so? On the description of this specific video. Now, where is the description? Down below there, below the likes and what have you. There's something written more. Click that more. You're going to get your number. Contact, that's my number there. Email, you're going to get it out there. Pick it up. Shoot me a call or an email. Let's talk about business at a personal level. For now, it's a goodbye and see you. In the next level.